Hey fam, let's chat about Ndadem Pahlele in his table sake. So, this week on Mnagwe to Happily Ever After, Ndadem Pahlele had a meeting with the youngest wife or girlfriend as per Ntabi with Ntabi meeting. And yo guys, it was dramatic. So Ntabi and the youngest wife are the same age they are both 23 and Ntabi is not holding back like i said guys Ntabi is not scared to speak her mind so Ndadem Patele was asking Ntabi to be friends with the youngest wife because they are the same age group which i actually find extremely weird because this person as much as they are the same age which actually they shouldn't be but this person is supposed to play a motherly figure. This is your father's wife. You shouldn't be really trying to make them friends. But anyway, this is Ndati Mpahlela's game plan. What was brought up on this particular meeting was that Ndati Mpahlela is a serial cheater, guys. And the sad thing is that he has exposed Ntabi to all of his shenanigans and that is one of the reasons why untabi can talk the way because that man basically exposed this child to things that he really should have protected the child from even if you're still doing your down and dirty on the side when you have a child can you shield your child from such things because your child tends to lose respect for you and i feel that is one of the reasons untabi is speaking and saying the things that she is saying to the wives and she has literally lost respect for the dad you know i mean she said things like my father slept with another woman on the first wife's bed and do you think that is respect and do you want to marry a man like that and um Right after he slept with that um, woman, when we were driving from another uh, place, he picked up another woman next to the police station, apparently. Like, basically, just cheating chronicles Zag and Adem Pathela that this young girl was exposed to. And it's horrible knowing that your dad does these things. And the way we get corner, like, my dad doesn't have money. What do you love about my dad? Like it was just really this child trying to expose the father, the horrible side of the father, just to avoid these women getting with the dad. Okay, fine. At the end of it, um, she did agree, Guti. I will um support you um when you are trying to have this welcoming ceremony for um U Demuho. And Demuho is also standing by her man child. Like this woman is just like, Nope, I'm not going to let Ntabi um dictate how I feel. I love this man and I'm going to stand by this man and I don't have to be friends with Ntabi. Moving right along, the two wives, the older wives, the first wife, U Tulani and Caroline, the second wife, who hates Temuho, they met and we U the first wife, U Tulani, decided to just call things to order when it comes to Caroline. Just really said, Guti, I found it extremely disrespectful to me. The fact that when you um, spilled alcohol on our husband in front of us, I found that you were disrespecting me as a first wife. And it's absolutely unacceptable that you can behave like that around us. And it just really, um, it was a really tough um, conversation. And I love that U, U Caroline actually did apologize to Umamkulu and Wamnigeza Leonda Oleyo. However, she is refusing to apologize to Demoho. She's just saying, Guti, I don't like her and I feel like I don't owe her any apology. We don't know um, if maybe by the end of the season, Untatim Patela is actually going to get to um, a point whereby the wives can coexist. But then the first wife seems like she's definitely on board because she has invited Um Carol and is planning to invite Demoho to her house 
to have a, a lunch or something so that they can all just um, be in the same space and get to talk and just bond as Abafazi Baga and Datim Pahlela. We don't know how that's going to go, but we know Uguti. Kero and Demoho are cat and mouse and they will fight when they see an opportunity. I don't know if you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did, but I am thoroughly enjoying Tatum Patella's storyline. I feel like this man is a chancer and he his dress code, you can see, man, Guti, he just kind of wants fame of some sort. And he's he's still just trying to figure this life thing out and dragging these women along. The fact that Agaga Bashati, for me, will always be an indication like he cannot afford his table at this present moment and he should not be stringing these women along what are your thoughts on this episode guys see you guys on the next video bye for now